Today I'm going to be reviewing White Tiger by Kylie Chang, the first book in the Dark Haven series. So a friend let me this book thinking I might enjoy it and he was so right. I absolutely loved this book. So this book is about Emma, who lives in Hong Kong and takes on a job as a nanny for a very powerful businessman, Mr. Chen. Now when she takes on this job, she understands that she might be put into a little bit of danger as the daughter she's going to be looking after, Simone, is the target for kidnappers. But what she doesn't expect is to be pulled into a world of material arts, magic, gods, demons, just a world full of danger, but of course a little romance to an action. Emma as a character is really likeable. She's funny, she's smart, clever, witty, and above all just really kick ass. She doesn't let anything get in her way and she's just a bear. Another thing I really enjoyed about this book was the way the magic and the demons were portrayed throughout this novel. This book just had the right amount of everything and because of that it was really fast paced and once you started reading it was really hard to stop. Also Emma, who is living in Hong Kong but is originally from Australia and she compares the two different cultures and I just found that really interesting. The other main characters in this book are really likeable as well. They're Simone, their adorable little daughter who's just really kick ass as well and really caring. There's Mr. Chen, who's a very powerful businessman, and Simone's dad, and he's really caring and sweet, very much of a kick ass kind of person. And then there's Leo, the bodyguard, and he's funny, and he's smart, and he's clever, and he's just amazing. I can't allow myself to fault any of these characters. I just enjoyed them so much. And yes, they do make mistakes, but it's part of what makes them them, and they're just well written and really drawn out and thought out characters and it really brings the story together. As I was reading this book I found myself enjoying this book so much that I just tried to read it slowly trying to savour it but in the end I found that I just couldn't do that. The book was so fast paced and I just had to know what happened next and so I devoured this book. All in all I really enjoyed this book. This book had the right amount of everything for me and I cannot say enough good things about it. I would definitely give it a 5 out of 5 stars. So let me know in the comments below what your thought of this book if you've read it. Or if you haven't, if you plan to pick it up anytime soon. Don't forget to thumbs up if you enjoyed this and subscribe if you'd like to see more book reviews from me. And I'll see you next time. Bye.